Hello everyone. Today we will be doing Cisco AnyConnect. So according to the topology, so this is my AnyConnect client. So this is the outside interface. And this will be my DNS server once the authentication takes place. This DNS server will be assigned to this particular AnyConnect to browse server one and server two, which is my inside network. So DNS server has been configured. Router one also is have been configured. So we will be configuring only the ASA firewall and we will be configuring connecting the AnyConnect from client. So let's get started. <clears throat> so I'm on ASA, Cisco ASA and uh, I'm running version 9.14. So now interface g0 slash 0 name it outside IP address would be 20.1.1 no set interface g0 slash 1 name it inside IP address is 10.1.1 no set interface management 0 slash 0 <coughs> name if management security level I will keep it as a 50 IP address will be 192.168.72.150 no shut. So I'm taking management IP address as 192.168.77.150 because I will be accessing the ASDM via my laptop. So HTTP server enabled to HTTP I'm allowing all the traffic to management interface. Next I will be assigning the username and password with privilege 15. So username I'm giving as a Cisco, password as Cisco, privilege as 50. So now I will open my ASDM. If, if I open my terminal, so I should be able to ping to my ASA. You see here, from my laptop, I am able to ping to my ASA. Next, I will provide the IP address and username and password to log in into ASDM. So now we have logged into our ASDM. So I'll go to wizards and uh, I cannot say that I'm unable to see any wizards here. So I will do a refresh. So I'll click on wizard, VPN wizards and any connect. So I'll click next. So what I would do, I would give a name like uh, profile one. On the uh, I'm accessing from the outside interface, assigning to the outside interface. So next, so now I have to provide a certificate. So I will click manage then add. So I will be adding a self signed certificate. So trust one. I will give the trust point name as one, and I will add a new key pair like uh, CCI key. I will say generate, and I will also say that. Uh, self sign certificate add certificate enrollment has been done okay next you will be adding the any connect software so <clears throat> currently i will be uploading with my local files that is 4.7 any connect 4.7 image so that's the package name so any connect windows 4.7 and select and select upload file. So now I am uploading the AnyConnect image to my Cisco ASA. Okay. 
upload successfully okay then click on next and i already have uh, one user created here so i'm not creating any more users so i will use the same user so i would say next and next and here i will be creating one dhcp pool by name any you can provide any name here and my ip address will be from 21 to <clears throat> because i want to access the dns server so dns server is in is in this subnet so i will give a class c address so a subnet mask okay next so my dns server address is 192.168.77.200 and my domain name is csable1.com so next next and finish <clears throat> so this was the wizard of any connect now we have to do certain settings editing so now what i will do i will go to configure remote access vpn and in network client access i will go to any connect client profile so if you have a user with privilege 15 then only you can access this otherwise you are not able to access this page so select the profile which we have created profile one and click on edit so i will go ahead and i will say that allow windows vpn establishment allow remote users and i say okay and i will click on apply to apply the settings then I, again i will go back to group policies here and click on my profile which i have created So this is the profile, group policy, profile one. So click on edit. So here I will provide that DHCP pool which we have created while we were in the wizard. So I will say assign that pool to this profile <clears throat> and I will create a AC access list. So what I will give, I will provide that access list name as servers and I will say that uh, what are the different IP addresses, 192.168.01.3 this is for the server one access and this one will be for server two access and this one this ip address for accessing the dns server so i'm providing i'm giving permission for the client any connect to access this dns server server one and server two so next ideal timeout i will provide like two eight eight zero sec minutes <clears throat> and that's it so we we'll click on ok and keep in mind that select this one and you click on assign sometimes it will not assign the particular user to the profile so you have to tick mark the profile sorry user okay apply so now what i will do i will go ahead and i will provide the dns server so my dns <clears throat> It will be 192.168.77.200 it's located on the management interface and here i will provide management interface as true and apply so that's it with the asdm <clears throat> now we have to <coughs> go back to the cisco asa so here i will enable the web vpn and i will say enable log site and I will say any connect image disk which we have uploaded. So I'm saying that any connect use the any connect image which I have uploaded. <coughs> then <coughs> so then I am saying that any connect enable enabling the any connect. And again, I am saying that tunnel, tunnel group list enable, which we have provided, and exit. That's it. It's all to be done. Now, keep in mind that DNS server has been re reconfigured, and uh, router one is also pre-configured. So, if I go to my router here, IP INT brief. So here you can see the IP address is assigned. So my client is only able to access these two servers, these two IP addresses. He is unable to access these IP addresses. And next thing will be 
that's it so i have enabled the http server on this one with authentication as local so if i click on uh, show users there are no users now what i will do i will say that username cisco privilege should be 15 and password is cisco I'm creating a user on the router. So whoever access the HTTP server on this particular router, they have to log in with this particular username and password. So next router has been configured, ASA has been configured, DNS server is pre-configured. So we'll go back to the client. So this is my client PC. So Currently, you can see that my IP address is 192.168.77.201. So whenever I connect to this particular uh, VPN, my IP address should be from 21, not 201. And you can see that I have two adapters, one with the 192 address, one with the 20 dot address. So when I say ping.20.1.1 outside interface of ASA, yes, I'm able to ping it. So here, yeah, same, what I will do, I will go ahead and I will connect with ASA outside interface, connect. So you got a security warning for uh, untrusted server certificate connect anyway and you will be providing the username and password which you have provided in cisco asa and click on ok so now authentication has taken place again you will get a warning here connect anyway and it should be connected now So VPN has been connected now. So what I will do, I will go ahead and ping my DNS server first. Yes, I am able to ping my DNS server. And uh, I will check <coughs> which IP address has been assigned by the VPN. So here you can see that 21 has been assigned because we have started from our, our pool DHCP was starting from 21 to 30. So 21 has been assigned. So I would go back to my adapters. So the Cisco any connect adapter should be enabled. You can see here that Cisco any connect adapter is being enabled. When I click on right click status and details. Here you can see that this is my IP address and this is the default gateway and this is the DNS server. So now I have all the access. So what I will do, I would go ahead and I will say that ping the dns domain first i'm able to ping it <clears throat> so next i will be pinging the the one which we have uh, given the ip address on the access list So we are unable to ping here. So what I will do, I will go ahead and I will check in the ASA. So from ASA, I'm unable to ping. That's the problem. You see, we don't have any route. So that's the reason. So what I will do, I will provide the route. That is the inside network. At 10.10.1.2. Now it should be able to ping because ASA was unable to reach through that particular network. Now it should be able to reach. 
so we have done the troubleshooting now make my dns server is configured as server one dot accessible one dot com for this particular ip address so i will do that one ping server one dot accessible one dot com should be able to ping so next another ip address that is server two which i have to ping on router two so here you can see that ip addresses i am able to ping so now what i will do now i will close this window and i will open my internet explorer Now here I will type HTTP server one dot accessible dot com. I should be able to. I should get a prompt like login username and password. Yep, I got that one. Cisco, Cisco. So now keep in mind that we our user privilege is fifteen. So I click on fifteen, and I will type any command. So IP interface brief. I should be able to get the details. Yes. Now server one has been confirmed. So what we will do? We will go ahead and uh, we will look for server two. So HTTP, not HTTPS. Yes. Now. We are able to log in here, so I will click on here also 15, and I will say that show IP root, and I click on command, so I am able to see the roots here. <clears throat> so now I will start my Wireshark to see whether the data has been encrypted or not, traffic has been encrypting or not. So now I will look for that one. I have to search for the adapter. <clears throat> that is the 20 dot network adapter. So which one is the 21? Ethernet one. Yes, Ethernet one is the adapter from which we have connected you. So what we will do, I will go ahead and I will click on Ethernet one. And I will provide my password here for my laptop. And now I will do some browsing again. Yeah, I will type like show IP interface brief again. And I should get here. So in the white shark, you can see that. Uh, this kind of traffic click on this one because this is the application data and I go on uh, datagram transport layer and you can see that and uh, I'll look into the frame so here is the one right I will close this one first and again I will uh, turn on <coughs> Right, this is the one, the Cisco ASA connector. So this one is the outside interface of mine. So I will click on the Cisco any connect interface. Yep. Now I will go ahead and I will do one more thing. Just type the same command like show history. 
and I should get the output here. My PNT grief, yep. So here you can see that source is this one, destination is something else, no IP address, because we are connecting to the some other IP address and the R. So what I will do, this is the TP, TCP connection. I will open that particular packet. Now we'll see the transmission. And I will uh, try to look whether the data has been encrypted or not. You see here destination, it's uh, giving us the wrong IP address here. All right. So this is how you do the any connect connection, connectivity between your uh, outside uh, client and the inside to, to the inside network. So here you can see that uh, any addresses which we have done, source address is correct, but not the destination address that has been hidden. Right, so this was the AnyConnect, AS Cisco AnyConnect configuration with one firewall.